yeah, like, like it has to be really quick. Like in, in one or two minutes, maybe it takes a second and you can see stock is popping here and you have to put out right away. I mean, two minutes here, right? It is two minutes chart. So two minutes here, pop into that right here, put that into 83, could have, you know. So that's just my my thoughts on it. Uh, yes, it's uh, easier said than done. Uh, you know, like nothing is easy. <laughs> uh, if I knew that, you know, Star was gonna pop on Thursday, yes, I would load the boat on that. But the fact is that we don't know, so. Uh, but it's just like some ideas uh, for you guys to look at. Uh, but uh, yeah. Okay, so um, the one I tram uh, I will go over today is this one is like AMC. Um, they want uh, I think I posted in, in my watch list as well. I mean, this is a little bit tough. Uh, it wasn't easy. I think I think it was like the day after the first red day. Uh, let me bring on the chart. Yeah, I think it's right here. This move to. 29 25 yeah this is this is the one right here as you can see here the first red day right pretty much and the next day uh, i think i posted uh you know in the watch as well use use uh you know red to green line as a guy and that's pretty much what i did i wait for, you know it kind of reclaim red to green uh you know like people thinking it's going to, i don't know to the moon like 30 35 or something like that but then it cracked through that, so that's a confirmation to me. Uh, so as it threw red to green, it short back the bounce towards that red to green. If it was grinding higher above this uh, 29, uh, 44, I would have, you know, stopped out maybe, I don't know, like 60, 70, something like that. So I would say I'm risking like 20 cents, something like that to make, I don't know, 40 cents uh, right here. Yes, uh, kind of pain. <laughs> I should have shorted some back, but... It was pre-market, so I didn't have that confidence in me, right? And right after the open, it stock kind of washed. I had FOMO here, of course. Uh, I tried to 27.75. I mean, I tried to crack this kind of support. I was thinking it's going to wash to that 26.50. <coughs> Sorry. So uh, that's the reason why I chased right at the support here. I was thinking... Uh, was going to crack which it did right like it dropped like 40 cents but i was more like greed uh you know i, I wanted more a little bit so like uh so i stopped out here uh and then when it bounced back i think you know this is pretty decent support and likely it's gonna test back to that and then crack right <laughs> but then he said you know it kind of squeezed a little bit more I added more here, but then I noticed like, you know, this is like FOMO really trade for me. So I immediately uh, trying to get out. And, you know, at that point, I, I didn't worry too much about the risk reward. I just want to get out basically because I know it was FOMO and I didn't want to be a part of that trade anymore. I just want to, you know, to get out, you know, just like, you know, just get me out for break even. Okay. And so this is like really nothing to see here. It's like, you know, straight up FOMO for me. Um, but then when I got out all that, it was like my, my, my head was clear and, uh, I was aiming for that, uh, you know, 29 line, uh, which is right here. And at that point, you know, I, I scaled some here and then when it kind of stuff like this, I added, you know, uh, more size into this and my risk was pretty, pretty under control, uh, was like pretty much over that red to green. You know, like this is one of the indicator uh, in indicator that I use a lot. So, uh, pop towards that uh, twenty nine. My start was like literally over twenty nine fifty, fifty one, fifty two, whatever. Uh, basically, you know, like my thesis behind it is like this stock should not reclaim red to green. Okay, the moment it did that, I'm gonna get out. So, uh, right after that, uh, you know, add more size here. I, I mean, you know. Like if the stock was going to break this high, I think that was a trouble. Okay, I would you know wait a little bit, maybe I cut it right here, red to green. That doesn't have to be like twenty nine fifty or so on. So right after that, you know, the stock couldn't wash, you know, like eighty cents right away. So I said, yeah, I'm gonna cover more in half here, and I just left the piece, a uh, piece for for lower, right? And at that point, this was the line twenty seven twenty. So I kind of 
cover into that line pretty much yeah and, you know shame after that you know it's just dumped so uh so much more but what can i do right but uh overall is a good tray uh like in the morning like this one here like this one was good but this is like straight up FOMO you should avoid it you know this is like uh you know not that's that's uh that's something i'm not a proud of on myself this is like a really bad tray uh but i'm glad uh you know i got out uh, right here instead of scaling on the way up like imagine like you know if i just kept adding 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 you know by the point it gets to here i might stop right at the top and, I, and then when you see it tanking so be careful with that guy with fomo so uh if you get in notice something that's wrong like you know with you or like with that trade take it off okay uh you don't have to be a part of it so uh this one was like yesterday i'm not gonna go over that in a bit lgvn this is like simple like really a beast for the last few days uh it, it ran kind of on thursday and I'm more like a pr really proud about, uh, you know, this trade on Thursday. You know, one of the things is, like, you know, I shorted here some right at the open uh, towards into that line, 950. Uh, this one, this line, 980, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I shorted into this one, but not the, the, the second part to that 10 line. Excuse me. And... You know, basically, like, pop and drop for me, that was my thesis, um, that was my plan. And I stock did just that, and it pops to, like, 9, I think it was, like, 9.50, 6, 60 ish And it dropped, like, immediately, like, 50, 60 cents. Uh, so, you know, I ended up, like, covering right here. It was a good trade. After that stuff, uh, let me zoom out here a little bit so you can see it better. this one there uh right at the open here so it, it was like towards this line uh 980 uh right and then drop right back here so it's like 50 60 cents you know stress free i didn't get back to the well after you know getting to like 10 line i just don't like to see you know reclaim that fast yes yeah, a good line you know you could short some you know scaling and all that yeah all good but after that it's all kind of you know uh more like stuff or like watch through under view app so i had fomo a little bit here i was shorting at view app here and thinking okay uh you know might bounce back to view app and continue to fade right but instead it's just like crying higher over that so the moment it can reclaim view app right here i stop out okay and the second trade that i took it was after this candle hang on yeah, so that's pretty much after this candle. Uh, there was like after this stuff through view app, so I shorted it back here and then yeah, I ended up covering everything here at 9.02. Uh, so I think around here, it was like, you know, like really baby scalp. But when I noticed like, you know, they're saving right at 9, which is like, you know, 8.99 here is support. And if you look at the chart, okay, if you look at the chart, like a stock is just like it's basing off that nine line okay every time you know higher higher and higher and higher and higher this is really the sign for you to get the fuck out okay this is like really trouble like how many times you see a chart like this it's just like keep grinding high and grinding high and grinding high like this and it's just like you know pop drop pop drop you know grinding 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 until to that point when the range tightens it's gonna shoot right and that was the thesis i mean right after this stuff it should have not done this right so 